Right now, deputies are investigating what led up to a shooting in an Orange County neighborhood that left a woman dead. Deputies found the victim late last night at a home on Greenleaf Drive and Doncaster Road, right off of Forest City Road. Just after 10 p.m. on March 9th, the Orange County Sheriff's Office responded to the 2500 block of Greenleaf Drive off of Forest City Road for reports of a shooting. Upon arrival, they would locate the body of an unresponsive adult female suffering from a gunshot wound. Law enforcement has been out here for the last several hours, and there's still a lot of activity in this neighborhood. Take a look here behind me. Forensic fans remain on scene, and uh, investigators are gathering evidence right now in this deadly shooting. Now, we were here as deputies responded overnight, investigators blocking off a large area of Greenleaf Drive, but the focus has been on the home right on the corner of Doncaster. That's where we saw a car parked near the front door. According to the Orange County Sheriff's Office, it was around 10:15 last night when a call came in for a shooting. When deputies arrived, they tell us a woman in her 20s was found with at least one gunshot wound. The victim was identified as 29-year-old mother of three, Sierra Paulson, who was taken to a local hospital where she was sadly succumbed to her injuries. Sierra's mother later told investigators that she had been in a six-month relationship with 23-year-old Kevon Daly, who moved into the family home around Thanksgiving. She said Daly was a heavy drinker and would be aggressive towards Sierra while he was intoxicated. A look into Daly's criminal history revealed that he was arrested on domestic violence-related charges in November of 2022 and most recently January of this year. According to Sierra's mother, the couple seemed to be getting along well when they left the house for roughly 20 minutes around 9 p.m. before returning and going into Sierra's bedroom. About five minutes later, Sierra's mother recalled hearing a loud bang coming from inside of the room. She attempted to get into the bedroom, but Daly tried to keep her out. After finally making her way inside, she spotted Sierra's lifeless body on the floor. She had been shot. Outraged, Sierra's mother grabbed Daly by the hair, punched him, and yelled, You shot my baby. Daly then ran out of the home with what appeared to be a gun sticking out of his pants. Orange County deputies say they've arrested a man for killing a woman last night and that the two have a history of domestic violence issues. That shooting happened just after 10. Orange County deputies say they've arrested a man for killing a woman last night and that the two have a history of domestic violence issues. That shooting happened just after 10 last night on Greenleaf Drive. That's near Maitland. About an hour ago, the sheriff's office gave us this video right here. They say this is the man they have in custody. This is 23-year-old Kevon Daly. Channel 9's Rafael Perez is joining us live right now from the sheriff's, sheriff's office. And Rafael, deputies say this guy has been arrested for domestic violence not once, but twice in the past. And Martha, both of those arrests taking place just in the last six months here. Unfortunately, this latest incident ending in tragedy. Caught and cuffed, you're watching new video of 23-year-old Kevon Daly being taken away by deputies. He's accused of shooting and killing his girlfriend at their home in Orange County Thursday night. That's really sad and really close, and it's horrible. Neighbors we spoke with shocked to hear the news. We've been here like 15 years, and uh, never, nothing ever happened here. It's mostly elderly here. It happened around 10, 15 at night at this home on the intersection of Greenleaf Drive and Doncaster Road near Maitland. Deputies say when they arrived, they found 29-year-old Sierra Polson with a gunshot wound. She was rushed to the hospital, but sadly wouldn't make it. We don't want nothing happening. Before Daly was arrested, people we spoke with were too afraid to show their faces, knowing a killer was on the loose. You give me so nervous right now about the way I'm living here. And, be more alert. and they hope Paulson's family can stay strong during this difficult time. I'm really sorry for the family. It's, it's sad. And I just pray that they could get it together and because it's really sad. So Paulson, the victim, she was a mother of three. The family asking for their privacy tonight. Just one day after her senseless murder, 23-year-old Kevon Daly was arrested and charged with first-degree murder. He is currently at the Orange County Jail, where he is being held without bond. The case remains ongoing.